All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see what we got on Gagnito side. Yep, this is pretty standard, I think. Um, he's running Kuna. Is he running the um, not Kuna, the the one that's the two one? Yep. Uh, and Kuna, yeah. Okay, and he's running the two one, right? Uh, yes. That, yeah, he, there it is. Okay, yeah, it's pretty standard. It's just aura destruction with a mix of uh, just dark pulse. And is he not running needle? He's not running needle. Um, he's running needle. In... Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, he is running. Yeah, this is coming very standard. I said that the most unique card is Vestigial, but uh, which I don't think is bad. But um, especially with the um, the toxin that he's running, I think it's reasonable. But yeah, like this deck from Gangito, I think it's fine. Maybe the Shadow Wall a little passive, I would say. Maybe he could have ran something else that was a little bit more aggressive, but. Maybe the Shadow Wall will come in clutch, but personally, I think I would have liked to have seen a more just committed to aggressive sort of deck. But maybe the Shadow Wall is good. Uh, yep. Yeah. So yeah, let's see what he opts for. So he does end up going for the full man. Pullback advance makes it and the Shadow Wing. Yep. Okay. Um, very interesting. Uh, not what I would have um, anticipated. I'm yeah. actually really interested in the preparation and fake out. Uh, maybe just for the more shadow generation. But, yeah. I wonder if he's okay. gonna try and oh. bluff that he's not running Swing Flame, but that seems. Hmm. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen the more on more disruption on Jay's side with the Dark Pulse, um, but he is. Um, the preparation fake out's a little odd to me. You usually only see that ran with Gentle Snow. Yeah, it's kind of curious to see. It seems weird to be running the uh, Moon, the Yen Moon, and the. Uh, and Swank playing both, like playing at extreme close range, but also pretty long range. I think um, Jay's not really committing to the full aggressive strategy, maybe. Or the I have full a question. Control. Can you look through Jay's deck again? For the means. Thank you. Have the Shadow Finisher, that for a long game, that for a short game. <laughs> The step looks pretty good, actually. Maybe the uh, one-one attack preparation pullback might be. I think dark questionable. Is a dark pulse or pressure for? Uh, any other card, <laughs> because that doesn't have too much synergy with anything you have, really. Well, mm -hmm. I guess it could preparation, preparation to open and, and then swing. Yeah, like somehow advance from five all the way to zero somehow. If you have the perfect empty aura and two vigor and chain reel, you could do that. Yeah, I'm a fan. I agree with Meng. I'm a fan of everything besides that card. Like you can kind of tie chain reel too. Like you can even play it and play inside if they think you're just using the hidden power aspect to try and keep it at five range for preparation. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a fan It seems of that, ambitious. I think the Dark Pulse would have been my choice. I think Dark Pulse is very disruptive, I think, to Gagnito's sort of combo oriented aggression. Where it's oh. about dropping a bunch of cards and burning your life all in a string of attacks. I wonder if the umbrella could be put in a better spot for the camera. <laughs> yeah, the tiny in the bottom right, bottom left. You wanna ask them? I don't know. I like the tech of making the umbrella as hard to see as possible. It's pretty oh, good. Oh, well, Gagne. <laughs> <laughs> that works for us. Ah, Is he even making it Gagnito. bigger? Yo, okay. gross. Nice. Ew. Nice. Ew. All right. So, uh, it's a hand dump. This is five orders. That's a pretty good hand from Gagnito. All at the correct range. Is it? He pulls forward and he misses a lot, doesn't he? Well, I assume you want to play this in the right order, right? I mean... Like start off with the unavoidable, and then follow up with kunai throw or something. Well, I mean, so if they dodge the kunai, then you get your poison needle off, which has a lot of value. What do you think is better here, the taking the kunai or the needle? Ah, uh, that depends on what Jay wants to do. Wants to take this one to life. 
which makes sense, obviously. There's the unavoidable attack to start off. You'll always get that hit if it's in range. Needle time. Needle's so, okay, definitely so going to be dodged. You think Gagnon will take the retreat here? Is Gagnito no. going to retreat? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so either. Is he going because to it's it? only going to deal. Good. But he does spend a vigor to set up for a potential throughout top deck. I assume he brought a throughout, right? Oh, uh, no. no. Gagnito, I don't believe it did. What would he bring? He, he did not bring a throughout. Hmm. I wonder why he spent a figure there then. I do not know. Oh wow. First pass through, we're getting the erosion flip. Nice, that's a very fast erosion flip. How did that pair manage to get four flare this early? I do not know. I couldn't tell you, other than he took one life damage early. Uh, How did they manage to get three focuses in without dying to Chikake? Just too good. That is a question. Alright. Uh, Probably. Discarding to the, the Dark Pulse also. Getting rid of cards early. That's why I'm in Yukihi. Why are we at range 0? Uh, no, cycle 1. Makes me so cool. Sad. There's the Ruinous Soul Toxin. Just in time for reshuffle. Attacks are a bit awkward at this range. He discards a card to retreat. And ends his turn there, it looks like. No, he wants to spend one more vigor to go to range two. This lets him play the concealment and then return to range at four, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. There, awkward hand from Jay, nothing to do. I think he just passes his turn. That hand is useless, and you can't oh. play the Soul Toxin without dying. <laughs> without dying. <clears throat> yeah, I think the pass here is fine. Alright, so now it should be a big turn for Gagnino. Probably going to start out with the Concealment first. Uh, no, he has a better movement card oh. in hand other than the Concealment. Oh, is he, is he running Surge of Vitality? Oh yeah, uh, yeah Surge of Vitality. Ooh, the late Umbrella Switch from Jay. Very good tech. Wait to see what your opponent's gonna do. <laughs> so he'll go to R4 and get the uh, vigor. Then, so he just holds the concealment for, I guess, more defensive purposes. It seems with the surge of vitality in general. Yeah, looks like it. I feel like I probably wanted to check for a reaction, but he takes the risk and gets rewarded. Mm. Check for a reaction using what? You know, if your uh, black. Yeah, the whatever it is, Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Since then that they, they can't have be dodged, and it discards yeah. their reaction. Oh, I see. True. But with the Dark Pulse, is there a chance it can't discard the poison? You look. You choose the card. Pause. You choose the card, and you can actually put the poison in their plate pile. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. probably not a good idea, but it is an option. Yeah, oh, you, it's agree. not a may though. So if we, if they do react to it and still get hit, then you could put the poison into the plate pile. So True. Does our pulse come down? What? Yeah, oh, that's just is. some lag. Oh. All right, what did he stack on top? Muscle relaxant. Uh, Muscle sure. relaxant. Don't think that would be too valuable here, since. Yeah, I think I would have liked to have seen the um, he doesn't basic have reaction. In some UP heat needles in. You can also, I th might be able to safely take this to Aura since you know he only has poisons in hand. He's just gonna autopilot take it to life. I know this is one of it. the few cases where you might actually want to take that to Aura. But I then know. again, it's an enemy Utsuro and 
they have the long game special up, so probably taking it to life would be a better idea. Uh, Actually, taking it to life is good. (laughs) (laughs) Never mind, let's make three dust and extend the game longer. Poggers. Ooh, muscle relaxing coming down on. How does the cycle uh, look? Yeah, I think the cycle's fine, right? Do they still have what? Green Real? Gagnito, Gagnito's deck again to see if he has any uh, shadow payouts? No. Not at all. Mm, no. I would probably disagree with taking the 3 1 2 aura then. <laughs> That's true, because he doesn't get any yeah. advantage from Ashen. Probably. I do think. Wait, was there a punish? No, that's five to six. Preparation on open umbrellas, five to six, right? I think the main thing he can do as a punish is if he could bond rot on that, but since uh, Jay played the muscle relax, and that's a lot less potent. I already said this, but I really don't like the shadow wall from Gagdito. I do not think that's good. Shadow <laughs> wall is good for extending the game, but it's Jay not brought the Utsuro card that likes extended games well. But the problem is, is that I feel like it's not really like, oh, I hope he doesn't bring this sort of thing. I think Jay's play style, the way he has to play this game, is rather linear based on the Megamis he selected. That doesn't mean that it isn't solid, but I do think it is rather, if you're playing Yuki Hutsu, or you're almost 100% either going for um, a Nutsuru build or a Gentle Snow build. And I think in most situations, I think um, the more utsuro centered build without the Gentle Snow is con- probably more consistent. Can't Especially. play any attacks, so this hand looks very sad for Jay. He discards the useless preparation and Heck. advances. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like that card either. But I mean, I think it's... I don't know, I think that card is better than Yagnita yeah, bringing Shadow Wall. So, it's just any ones here, yeah, sure. What is that, a 4-4? Four, four? No, he doesn't have any. Yeah, that's another thing. He's really not going to have any. Mm, leaving the umbrella closed. Sure. Maybe he'll flip it right after Gagi <laughs> plays a card. Uh... Uh, that's not a very good... That's going to do nothing if you attack with that. Yeah, he's so, probably... what card does Gagnito want to hold on to? Probably Concealment, right? No, you want to hold on to Concealment and Kunai, so he means it leaves process of elimination, I think, the surge of vitality. Or is he going to dump his hand this turn? Does he want to make more shadow with no chance of life damage? Maybe. No, and whatever he wants. back up into closed umbrella Yukihi range. Yes, that's exactly what he wants. No, he's probably just going to discard Surge of Vitality and recover one. Anything else would be a little outrageous. Like, just play the Surge of Vitality, go to range 4 for the opponent, and end your turn there. I don't know, is that better than a recover? Looks like he's taking... Ugh. Does he get a Vigor for that, though? He does get a Yes, he does, uh, because there are okay, two cards in hand. So that's the way the card works. So then he should just recover one. I don't really like that. But... Mm. Sorry for him. Yes, because Jay didn't choose to bring Preparation Fake Out versus Swing Pierce, which is very feels bad. All right, Gus, focusing Wait, four he... more. What? Why did he focus that? Is he just going to eat it then? And this time, Gagnito actually has to make a... Whoa, tr- whoa, whoa. Remind Wait, them he... about the special. Yeah, remind them about the special, because that focus was really trolly. Or maybe I think... Jay remembered. There's... Okay, there we go. He got it, he got it. Looks like Jay he remembered. He chose nice. Aura? Holy fish bullies, dude. That's crazy. Uh, Chasing Flare might be a bit more questionable. I got Aura, I guess. I guess, but now look at this you position. Look at this. Now he just loses here, right? Have to take the reap to aura. Probably. It's definitely yeah, the least expensive one to take. Uh, yeah. Just take preparation fake out is the best card in the game. No and way. then the worst <laughs> a closed Yuki he can punish with is a few 1 1 attacks. He's going to do it. See, this, this is so. Wait, what? Oh, he chugged oh. the potion. See, like, this is the... 
Yeah, he gets a one-one. That is so nonsense. Dude. Why is he valuing his flare so much? Oh, what wait, is that wait. reaction? I thought preparation fake out was five six. Is no, that's not? the wrong card. This is chain reel. Oh, that's power. chain reel. Okay, never mind. That's fine. I thought so. That this is a two two five range, so it still doesn't get dodged. Yep. But oh. it does prevent. Him from advancing to range two, which I yes has but, uses. Well, I would have liked to have seen him use it aggressively. I think Agnito is playing in a way that's defensive in a long game that he doesn't win, and he's still losing the short game anyway. So I think he's pretty doomed. <laughs> he can't I get mean, back into his attack range now. I will say though that this is also sad because he played the concealment to retreat one, and then he can't get to range four for. His kunai throw and uh, whatever that 2 1 is. But Gagnito does have one merit, and it's that he has a finisher. So whenever there's a finisher, there's a chance to come back. But could happen, but who knows? <laughs> I, think like, I think the ball's in Jay's yeah, court to drop this game. Looks like Jay's pretty active about playing around that Chicago oh, special, though. Often discards down to one card. Yeah, this is not. A, I really do think Agnito suffering from a deck that um, is too passive, and the way he's playing is too passive as well. Normally, I think he's used to more Megamis that are able to have more time given to him, but this is not the case in this matchup. Usually, with the Hatsumi. And with the Megumi, you can kind of wait a little bit more, but not... With so what hand. can you do with this hand as Gagnito? Just pitch it to recover four or something? He has to recover with this hand. There's no other options. I don't know if he's going he's gonna to try to get a little bit of life damage. So he takes this to life. Anything else is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's an takes it to life and then dips. And you always want to take that to life. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I throw poggers. When I throw, get dodged. Ah, uh, so good. What? Did he just try to attack him with the umbrella using the tarot card? Is that making the guess that Chicago isn't bringing the 1 2 poison attack? Yeah, that was my thought process, but he didn't. So, oh my gosh, I just thought about that. Oh, Is that was it? a good read. Nice, Andre. Uh, what was his? What's Gagnino's third special? That isn't the finisher? Uh, he's got the, the, the enhancement one. one. No, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> the card is so trash. <laughs> oh my god, why did he actually... I should have thought about that. It's... I just literally autopiloted and think that every Chicago has a four special slot that allows you to have Ask for Morris Miss Paint because everybody brings it in this build. Yeah. I didn't even like think about the fact that he brought that trash can of a card in that this matchup. Oh, it's okay, but it's not it's, it's not, not the great best here. Like it would it would prevent uh, Curse of Ashes, and it also kind of shuts down some cards. Like it okay, shuts down Swaying Flame. But, but that's Jay had <laughs> during that turn. Jay had a uh, zero aura, so wouldn't that be the perfect time to play the uh, Ruinous Soul Toxin? I think he just mm. he. Threw it on his turn. Yeah, he didn't play it there. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. He's just he's just vibing. But anyway, I don't know. I hate everything Gagnito's done this match. <laughs> the way he's played it from the cards that he brought. He's why would he bring a special enhancement that dodges what Jay can do? That's not the way we win the card game. We win the card game by absolutely just ripping a bunch of attacks at Yuki he and you would throw until they die and you hope you don't get shadow balled. You lose everything. Uh, and now we're stuck in the Yukihi traditional situation that you see in every matchup ever with Yukihi where R0 and can't do anything. But it's Vestito, yeah, Vestito Von Rout's not going to come down. What is that, a 4 2? And I don't even know how much flare it costs, honestly. It costs 4. That. Oh, here it comes. This is what he's been waiting for. And then he gets Swaying Flamed. It's a handshake to Swaying Flame. Ah, nope. yes. Oh, take if you think about life. it. Uh, 
Uh, Getting hit by a chain reel is around the same value as taking a 3-1 attack to Aura. Oh my gosh, his umbrella's open too. And he's in no way to get out of this. Oh my gosh, he's he's not <laughs> Wait, why wouldn't he recover? We're not even... Oh my it's gosh. Zero two. That's that a... one two attack. What is he doing? Does that even help? It makes I mean, it one yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes it one two, which would dodge it. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. That's I'm not. I'm not in the game right now. Really bad since it, it's a low value turn for Jay, so that only really dodges oh one attack. You're God. blowing your reaction special a bit early, and even... on top of that, it's a uh, row opponent who wants shadow, so you just lost. Brief flare and gave them three more shadow. Are we gonna t the, the card bringing the cards terrible anyway? There's no way you bring that card in this matchup. It's absolutely crazy to not bring Ash from Morris Miss Me. That if you just dumped and threw away all your other specials, Ash from Morris Miss Me would be the one that you kept if you got to bring one special. Well, the I one use of bring that card if you know for certain they are bringing the Yuki He for five special. And you know you can sit on three flare. You can ignore that four five special. Yeah, I I agree. He would be better off even just taking that life damage there than throwing away his defense against the swing flame. Ugh, this match is so damn. Gangito loses because he's a he's a good player. <laughs> Wait. Are we just gonna concealment right now? Like we can at least concealment and just hit him. You might as well you just trade him. You need to recover first for Why the we don't we didn't care about it before. Why do we care about it now? Oh wait, does okay, it take one from the other one? Yeah, it makes you retreat one yourself, so you need aura to use it. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. Oh what is he gonna do? Anticipation with the basic. Enemy. Does he even get any damage out of that hand, though? Sure. If you not? concealment and deal one force, then you could. You know how throw out the with poison hand? needle, and then you can so dark pulse for two life. He had Ashmore's Miss Bane. Yeah, That's then you can dark pulse for two life. Oh yeah, I forgot that does one more damage the concealment. So needle, dark pulse. I uh, watch you. Okay. Unless Jay takes this to life. That yeah. would be a oh. cool move. Uh, he heard you. Oh? Yeah, that's really trolly. Uh oh! Trolly. Takes the poison needle to life. Dude, Amazing just, play from Jay. <laughs> then you, you probably just sit on the dark pulse then if you're Gagnito, right? Probably at this point, yeah. You're also going to sit on zero or because we don't like winning. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, no punishes and anywhere. Well, sitting at zero aura allows you to play around the Utsuro special in exchange for taking every attack to life. Here comes the oh. uh, here comes the muscle relaxer. <laughs> yeah, what is the cycle? I haven't really been paying attention to the cycle. What does he have? Does he have anything? Does he have hidden needles at least? In the... No, he shouldn't have hidden needles in the cycle. What cycle is this? Let's see what. Oh, he has preparation fake out though, right? Oh, yeah. okay, numbing. Okay. Yeah, so that's two to lo okay. We're playing it passively. I respect it. Dude, yep, this is like disgusting. this is like a more traditional play. Like, ah, uh, but Gagnito is just so out of this game. Holy, the only way Gagnito Jay loses if he gets a uh, vestigial bond rotted out of his mind and loses, and then it's like, well, if he plays straight played, into the four four. Yep, it's the only way he loses. That he is loses. still a very sad hand. No damage at all. I don't even think the Surge of Vitality was bad. I just think he should have swapped out Shadow Wall for anything and then swapped out. Honestly, I think we should just take a random pool of specials and shuffle in that Enhancement special and pull out a card, and I think we could find a better card. Is that anyway, a every single Magoo triple wow, recover? What else is he? He literally can't play the game. <laughs> like, What else is he going to do? <laughs> he can't attack him. You might as well recover. He doesn't, like, he doesn't even have Concealment anymore. So you literally have to play that way. Do we have to remind them about Utsuro special again? Nobody cares anymore. Now neither of these players care about this match. I think you should remind them about Utsuro <laughs> special again. This one? Yeah. Nobody cares. Jay doesn't care. Nito doesn't care. We're just here for the memes. Wait, that is mandatory, right? Can you read the text on that? It has to. Because I'm yeah, fairly certain that's, one. Yes, that's mandatory. Your opponent may choose one. That would be the worst card in the game. <laughs>
Dude, Sine would be juiced. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, we have another great hand from Gagnino. He's going to play the Shadow Wall, and here it comes. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's his turn. Here comes the Shadow Wall. This is one of the rare cases where Jay kept two cards in hand. And he also only has three aura. Yeah, this is the oh. uh, the best chance for Bond Rod if you could only get to range one somehow. This top deck that... Surge of Vitality. Uh, oh. Get him top deck the card. Oh, no concealment. Time to pass again. <laughs> oh no, he's just going to retreat a bunch and then die. Actually, there's no punish because... Um, yeah. Jay, Jay is running the moon, so... Ready for the recover? Oh, uh, oh, yes! This is my favorite gameplay. The aggro player kneeling to the control player. Yes. Oh, he knows what card he wants. I and can't count. There's the full yep. moon. Ouch! Ouch! This is gonna hurt a lot. Move back to range four. Oh my gosh! A shadow wall. Look at this value. You ready? Oh my oh. god! Here it comes, here it comes. You ready for the Shadow Wall? It's going to be the best thing in the planet. There isn't even 12 Shadow for the there is it? full moon. Yeah, there is. One. Wait, no, I can't count. Never mind. That, 1, 2, 3, not. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There isn't even I, I thought, it, I thought yeah. it counted 12. No, oh, whatever. Because he had to back That's up. That's a very awkward They did, they did do the, uh, the erosion, right? 1, 2, no, 3, probably, 4, 5, no, 6, so. 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11. Did. I don't think they did the erosion. Uh, I no, they just remembered. Uh, okay. Wait, okay, so, so now it's still 2 to life? Or no, it's still not 2 to life. Nope. Alright, right. Yukihi oh. passing their turn at range 4. Alright, here comes the hand dump. Yep. This is actually a decent hand. Perfectly oh, yeah. in range of Gagneto's attack, so is this a bait to attack? Yeah, I think everyone's just throwing. Is that- he literally just takes <laughs> the aura. Holy fish moly. Like, obviously you always take, take the aura. to life, right? Uh, okay. Mm. Here comes the kunai throw. Uh, two to life. All right, he did this. Uh, never mind. He wants, he wants to get the swing play. Then. No, time for that yeah. top deck chain reel. I was gonna meme that answer, but then I realized he was about to reshuffle, so it didn't matter. So we can't even give him a meme answer of why he took that to the life. Uh, reshuffle the would have only put him before, but yeah, I guess he, if he's no, because he would have taken thing. the two one to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the shuffle would have been five or now he has six. He has for the extra flare for the abrupt transformation that doesn't exist. Oh, oh, Paul. Ah. no punish. I don't really want to focus there. Good question. He's that vestigial bond rot, bro. Really wants needs... to, to see that that one two come out again. He because he needs to tank out the um, the whatever passive special, I guess. No, because now he can choose Aura, because he was going to lose it anyway. So I guess he's just thinking that. If he recovered instead, you would be left at one Aura after the Erosion special instead of zero. Wait, why he is he blocking? Hold... Concealment's not good anymore, is it? Uh, well, it's Open Umbrella. He can... Concealment can block the uh, Chain Reel. <laughs> I like this tech where you... Uh, you separate out the poison. Make sure everything's on board, just like everything else in this match. Oh. No. One card. And, whoa. <laughs> I was, yeah, gee, three card, including a poison. <laughs> I want to draw extra card. What else we got? All right, so... He's probably just going to... Yep. And then advance, I guess. I wonder if you want to keep that soul toxin in hand just for the uh, instant three shadow nope. later down the game if you want. He kept the soul toxin in hand, he would have just lost, right? Is this lethal? Oh, true. He would die. Uh... Wait, is this lethal? It might no. be still, right? Uh, no, it just doesn't have any healing. He has one aura damage. It can't be lethal. You concealment, uh. you. Oh, wait. At the no, one aura you... damage, you hit the poison needle to life, you... No, you can vestigial this turn. No, because you just A1 and surge, don't you? No, you need three life damage to get lethal. Mm. So yeah, this is lethal. Oh! Wait, how is that? How does Gagneto get lethal? Wait, it's just conceal... Yeah, because the concealment... It'll still take him to R4, though, won't it? 
Or yeah, no? then you advance twice, then oh, does he have the move tool? to range yeah, one. Yeah, you advance was... twice with uh, Vigor and Shadow Wall, and then you surge in the range yep. one and, and Soul Toxin. Nice. So this is lethal if Jay yeah, has no right. reactions. I'm and banking and on I think Gagnito's pressured enough to take the risk of no reactions. Yeah, because if he loses to abrupt here as well, right here, like he right here, he would have abrupted if he had it. I think. Yeah. Well, just kidding. Gagnito built the death best deck. He could have. <laughs> um, I'm wrong again. Uh, there's no way. Obviously, Gagnito won, so he played perfectly. And made Actually, it. is there any reaction at this point that can stop a vegetable uh, bronze rock? There it is not. Uh, the zero one. Potentially, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 you're right. We're just the range one. You're right, you're right. Right. So, this is guaranteed now. Yeah. Amazing. Holy. Amazing. Wow. Look at that gameplay. <laughs> Both players played as optimally as they could have. Nothing to add to that match, actually. It's just the, the crash of mine. Oh, that does no reaction as normal as well. I actually didn't know that. Yep. Yeah, if it, if you could react to it, it would be a lot less potent. Like the Maybe. old version. Oh, wow, amazing! Wow, all right. Yeah, whoever left, I would leave quickly too. Holy. 